I'm just saying, like, if you're super saved, you might want to get off this video. Shit. Woo! Because I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am a believer. And I just cuss. Hey, guys. It's me, Michi. I hope you're doing okay. It's spring in Dallas. I hate wasps. I hate bugs, period. But these jokers are already doing what they do. So, anyway, I came home today. And there were four wasps in my house. Four. I just had a moment. Which, what I'm going to call a moment. More like a fit. I was screaming, acting a fool. I keep looking around because I'm still tripping. I don't go around just, you know, mother flower and flint flower and cuss cuss. I don't, it's just not how I'm made up. But just now, just now, before, right when I was trying to film this video, I <laughs> was getting ready to record. And I promise you, I put the phone in the window, which I've never done before. And there was a dead wasp, because I had killed him and forgot to pick him up right by my phone. And this, this is what happened. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, sorry. See? move this on down I just cussed so last night my husband and I had the door open to the backyard and apparently I let in four wasps four of them jokers and I'm afraid of wasps I don't I can't tell if it's a wasp or a hornet to me they all look the same okay anyway they don't belong here they don't pay mortgage so they can't stay okay hey I walk in the house and I hear this buzz, 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 and I was like what the crap so I look up my, my window to my left and there was a wasp in the window I was like oh snap so I went and got my little hornet spray. I sprayed it, got the window all messed up. I don't care, wipe it down, boop, he's dead. Then I hear another buzz, another buzz, I promise you. So I'm messaging my husband. And I was like, babe, I don't know what's going on. We might have wasps in the vents or something, but they're in the house. I forgot about the fact that I had the window open last night. So the okay. I'm not proud of it. I'm not at all. And I say, and I just cut, like it just happened. And you know, there are moments where stuff just happens. <laughs> and you're like, Holy Ghost. I mean, you're not proud of it. I'm not, I'm not a big, I mean, I don't go around cussing. Like it's not the thing I say. It's just not the thing I do. I use my words. But in that moment that came out and that's part of the growth that I'm experiencing as a, as a believer in Christ. Like there's no reason that I should have said what I said. It was an immediate, honest response. I said all that to say this. I'm still God's chosen. I'm still his child. I understand that that is not something that's going to stop me from getting to heaven, but it is something that I don't want to ever be. And that was an honest response. Like when I said, I just cussed because I just like left myself. Like I went straight into the flesh. I wouldn't think about no spirit. I wouldn't think about no Holy Ghost. All I was thinking is that's a wasp right there and that joke is going to bite me and I'm going to be jacked up. Do you guys ever have those moments where you think you fail God or you think to yourself, why did I just do that? Or I just can't seem to get this right. Maybe for you, it's your temper. Or your mouth. You just can't stop talking and you talk too much trash. You always got to get the last word in. Maybe for you, you've done too much on your job and you've caused a bunch of enemies and strife. Maybe you gossip. Maybe you are a whore. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. Maybe you just sleep with everybody in the world. <sighs> but you love Jesus. Listen, God knows that we are not perfect. I know that I'm not perfect. It's moments like these that I have to remember that I, there's a reason why he saved me. I didn't save him. Okay. He knows I need to be saved. There is a reason why we chase after God. There's a reason why, um, the conviction that I have in my heart to do better is there because I do really love him. The problem is when you stop wanting to do better, if you stop wanting to do better, the Bible says that he will turn you over to a reprobate mind, which pretty much means that he's going to turn his back on the situation. Not saying that he agrees with it, but that he's just not going to deal with it because you don't want to deal with it. This is me saying I'm not a big cusser, but that just happened in real life. And I was like, I know people live like this. They're like, man, how come I can't get this right, God? How come when I'm in traffic, I go off on people? How come? That's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi and tell you guys that even if you jack stuff up and you're a cussing Christian, Jesus still loves you. Now, I'm not saying go around cussing everybody out and have a filthy mouth.
because blessings and curses lie in our mouth. The Bible says out of the heart, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. I don't want that in my heart. Like that just, uh, and when I tell you it happened so quickly, I was like, oh snap. Like who was that? It was like I was a different person. Yeah, you got your spirit and your flesh. My flesh was like, girl. Get out. Go gangsta on them, boy. Wait, I said that to say this, you guys. Yes, we're not going to always hit the mark, but God is with us. So if there's something that you're battling with and you're not sure about it, and you're just like, man, I, I want to be perfect. I want to be right. Yes, you can be right with Christ and still jack up some stuff. The problem is when we stop wanting to get better. So I challenge you to do better. I challenge myself to do better. And yeah. <sighs> okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. If Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you feel you can relate to me or you feel like there's something that you can't seem to master. I probably need to do a series on things I can't seem to master, but I'm working on them. See, don't stop working on the win. I'm going to win. There's going to be a day where I'm just going to be like, oh my goodness, that's a bug. Ooh, hope he doesn't bite me. <laughs> uh, right now I'm like, yo. What's up? What the hell? <laughs> So one of the things that I am doing is I'm trying to stay in my word more. Just when I think I'm mastering something, it just creeps back up. That's why it's so important to stay in your word because it will show up, okay? In the form of whatever it is that, that the enemy knows is going to take you down. For me at that moment, it was that. Okay, guys, I love y'all. I will talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. Bye. So if you wear like a, a S on your cape and it says super Christian, you might want to get off my video. It just, just came out. Boom. I don't even, um, I don't even use those words. Like, I don't even know what just happened. Man. So anyway, long story short, I just don't like creatures. Critters, snakes, uh, rodents. I just, I just don't. And I'm deathly afraid, not deathly afraid. I'm very much fearful of being bit by a wasp. When I was younger, I used to catch bees with my hands because I was a tomboy. That's a little different. You get stung, you get the little swelling, it stings, it burns, you go on with your life. A wasp? Mm -mm. No, nah, player. I don't deal with wasps. I don't deal with hornets. I don't deal with rats. I don't deal with lizards. I don't deal with snakes. Like, no. Nah, uh, mongoose. Um, chinchillas. Like, <laughs> I don't want it! So I cut.